Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step subtraction equations. Now, when we solve one-step equations, we want to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself. Basically, we want to undo whatever is being done to the variable. That way, the variable is by itself on one side of the equation. We do this by using the inverse or opposite operation. Keep in mind, it is very important that whatever is done to one side of the equation, it must be done to the other. That keeps everything balanced and equal. Let's jump into number one where we have y minus 21 equals 43. Now we need to isolate that variable of y. We need to figure out what y equals. Since 21 is being subtracted from y, we need to undo that subtraction by using the inverse operation. So the opposite operation. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So let's add 21 to the left side of the equation. Now, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equal. So we need to add 21 to the right side as well. Now let's take a look at the left side of the equation. We are subtracting 21 and adding 21. So these 21s cancel out, they equal zero. So our variable y is now isolated, it's by itself. So y equals, and then on the right side of the equation, 43 plus 21, equals 64. So y equals 64. That's our solution. Now we can always check a solution by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug 64 in for y and see if this works. 64 minus 21 equals 43. 64 minus 21 does equal 43, so we have the correct solution. y equals 64. Let's move on to number two, where we have 90 equals g minus 15. We need to isolate that variable of g. 15 is being subtracted from g, so we need to undo that subtraction by using the inverse operation. The inverse of subtraction is addition, so let's add 15 to the right side of the equation. Now, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So let's add 15 to this side as well. Now, on the right side of the equation, we are subtracting 15 and adding 15. So these 15s cancel out. They equal zero. So G is now isolated. It's by itself g equals, and then on the left side of the equation, 90 plus 15 equals 105. So g equals 105, and we can rewrite this with the variable coming first, and that is our solution. Now let's check that solution by plugging 105 in for g and seeing if this works. So 90 equals 105 minus 15. 105 minus 15 does equal 90, so our solution is correct. G equals 105. So there you have it. There's how you solve one-step subtraction equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.